Hey guys, it's Lego Channel 62, and today I'm making a video showing you guys the uh, basically review for the second Lego like, Ninjago movie trailer. I'm gonna break down the entire trailer for you guys. So, yeah, let's get right into that. So, just like the first trailer, there's a starting scene of Ninjago City getting attacked by a bunch of jelly warriors and the manta ray bombers, and we could see Lloyd and Misako in their apartment, and Lloyd is asking his mom about Garmanon, and off to the side we see this TV of Garmanon in it, and he's basically conquering Ninjago. It's kind of like the scene we've gotten in the original trailer, except this time it's on the little TV screen. And then the TV screen goes to the big screen, like to our screen, and we can see the full thing of what's happening. He's basically just conquering Ninjago City with this giant shark mech. And yeah, so we've already seen this part before, but then now Lloyd asks, Misako, that if he was bad when they started going out or when they got married. And as we, he's asking, we can see this really awesome scene of Garmon and his Garmon Mecha Man. And we've got this set before, and this is so awesome. I really like the design of this. It's kind of like the one we got in the set, except it's mostly black. So it's more black than the one we got in the set. That, I think that was more dark gray, dark gray and light gray, too. Um, this one looks so awesome. And instead of having that chain of fish, he actually has a chain of completely sharks, which looks awesome. I really like that. And then we can see another scene of Lloyd and Misako. And, and then now Misako's telling Lloyd how he was when they were dating. So Misako is just listening to Garmin on this scene. And she says that Garmin was telling her about a bunch of stuff that he was going to rule the world and conquer Ninjago City and everything, and she, I guess she said that she was just caught up in everything that he said that she didn't notice what was actually happening, and we can even see in the front of the scene the sushi chef that we got from the Cocktail Minifigure series, and then the next scene, they're riding away on a motorcycle that the license plate says, I think it says Hitched, and so that, that's pretty cool how they got the motorcycle there, and she's saying, that she just caught up, got caught up in what he was saying, that she never knows what actually happened. And in the next scene, Garmanon is turning evil. And we can see him take off his like, dad or um, real person hair and putting on his evil helmet kind of thing. And then we can see a scene that we got in the first trailer of Garmanon is all his um, Garma minions, I'm going to call them. And this looks pretty cool. Um, they're all carrying these really long spears. And... Yeah, so it looks like he's trying to conquer Ninjago, but to make him feel better, Nisako tells Lloyd that if he, she never met Garmanon, she never would have had him. So in this scene, we could see it says, Outcast by day, and there's Lloyd walking onto the bus. Everybody's giving him a really mean look because he's the son of Lord Garmanon, and when he goes to sit down, he notices that everybody else has moved to the other side. And when the bus starts rolling again, it tilts to the right side because there's so many people on that side. Then the next scene it says Ninja by Night. And we can see Lloyd jumping from one building to another in his ninja costume. And in this next scene, we can see the entrance to Garmadon's volcano base. And there's a bunch of vehicles flying into it. We can see four jelly subs and two unknown vehicles. I'm hoping we're going to get in a later set. And this looks really cool because in the next scene we see Garmanon in his normal um, kind of evil armor. And we'll, we also see him doing his evil laugh. And then all the ninja are at school and they get up from the seats and ask for a bathroom pass. And I guess all the other students are scared because every one of them is hiding under their desk or is going to hide under their desks. So in the next scene we see them all running down the halls and for some really weird reason, I'm not even sure why, Nia is riding her motorcycle down the hall. But anyways, that's not the point because in the next scene we can see them going down and uh, I guess a secret entrance in their lockers to wherever this place is. And we can see Sensei Wu training them to be stealthy. And when he is, we see the ninja's version of stealth. And I guess they're still training right now because these are completely terrible stop spots to hide. From left to right, we got Nia hiding behind her swords. Kai in the ground, Cole behind a tree branch. 
Jay lying down, Zane behind a leaf, and Lloyd hanging upside down on a tree branch. And it seems since Wu thinks that they're not so ready for this kind of stuff yet, because in the next scene he's saying that it is unbelievable. So that's kind of weird because we could even see the ninja training in this movie, so I think that's kind of weird, but also pretty cool to get to see their training in this movie. And then we see Lloyd getting into his Green Ninja Mech Dragon, and this looks really cool, especially the um, full version, and we can see the full Green Ninja Mech Dragon, and this looks awesome with that you know, kind of green fire thing shooting out of his mouth. And then we see him flying past a building with kind of black smoke stuff on it, and then he's putting down that school bus, kind of saving it, and that's actually the same school bus he was on when people like didn't want to go near him, and all the students and teachers were cheering for Lloyd. And then we see him in the city and this awesome action shot. And this looks so cool. I love like the green background and stuff. And even the missiles firing out of his mouth. That's awesome. And this just looks so cool. And then after that, we see those missiles create an explosion. And out of that explosion arises Garmadon and his shark mech. And then we can see that part we saw in the first movie, or like the first trailer, I mean, sorry. Um, with Garmadon and Lloyd revealing his true identity to Lord Garmadon. So this part was really, really cool. It says from the team that assembled the Lego movie and the Lego Batman movie, and we could see kind of a shot of the Ninjago City, and then we could see Lloyd kind of getting cheer up by Nia and Jay with the other ninjas in the background, and then we could see Lord Garmadon with what's probably Masako. And then he's showing him his son, a.k.a. Lloyd Garmadon. And I like how, since his eyes are green, they wrapped him in a green towel. And that kind of looks really cool how they did that. And I really like this scene. And see Master Wu training them again. And this time they're climbing up this giant mountain. And when they get to the top of it, they're going through this forest. And I actually recognize this from the first scene in the product animation for the Temple of the Ultimate Ultimate Weapon. So they're probably searching for the ultimate ultimate weapon. And then we see Garmadon come out of nowhere to kick Sensei Wu in the face. And then after that they start fighting on the top of the bridge in that section where Master Falls set takes place. And then Garmadon rips off Sensei Wu's pants. And we see all the ninjas like open their mouths kind of like an astonishment or something. And we even see Jay covering Cole's eyes in the background. So I think that's pretty cool how we even get to see this area through the Master Fall set. And then we see a captain that says comes an epic tale. And after that, we could also see Garmadon with all the ninja. And then the citizens and the shark army warrior. And we could even see the citizen we saw in the first trailer looking up. And they're all looking at, up at this giant cat. And somebody starts to point a laser point at the giant cat. And then after that, everybody starts eyeing the cat, and a cat sees some Easter eggs. So I've noticed some Easter eggs, which are the Lego City conductor character, and we can also see the security guard from the Lego Batman movie. We could see the fire girl with her fire dog from Lego City, then Bob from Bob's Kebabs in the Lego movie, and then after that, we could also see. Um, well, we could see one of the chief, the police officer we got in the back street, so that, and we could also see Zookeeper and Painter from the Lego minifigures line, and then finally we could see a chef that we got in the same train station set with the conductor. And then after that, after everybody starts eyeing at the cat, the cat knocks over the building because the laser point is on the building. And then everybody starts screaming and yelling, and in this shot, we actually get a wider shot. We could even see a better shot of that piranha vehicle we saw in the Lego Ninja Gaiden movie video game, which looks awesome. We finally get an HD version, and there's also that paramedics car, which is basically just the car we got in the, from the police officer, except for paramedics. And if you've noticed, this cat obviously is not made out of Lego, but actually all nature or just anything created by God is actually 
not Lego. So I thought that's pretty cool. Maybe it's because kind of like in the Lego movie how it was just a kid who built the Lego on it. Maybe it's about a kid who built some Lego outside and then a cat comes in it or something. So I thought that's what it might be. And I thought that would be pretty cool because like kind of like a tie into the Lego movie. But that's pretty cool. And this next caption box says, A Good and Dad, which is kind of connected to the earlier one. And this actually trailer's, I'm pretty sure, called An Epic Tale of Good and Dad. So that's pretty cool. We get to see this in the trailer. And in the next scene is Sensei Wu asking Lloyd and Lord Garmanon uh, if they're ready to rest their life for Ninjago, kind of like we saw him doing that to the ninja. And this kind of confirms that Lord Garmon is going to team up with the ninja to stop the kitten because in the next scene you can see the kitten destroying the city and some Shark Army warriors and citizens and ninja are all trying to stop it from knocking over that building. We can even see a new Shark Army gen um, ship flying at the top which looks pretty cool. Next we see the ninja all put their hands in ready to fight Lord Garmin on or the kitten. I'm not really sure what it's for but we can see um, Kai and Cole in their vehicles and they're just going a bunch of um, <coughs> other Shark Army vehicles with Shark Army Warriors in it so I think that's pretty cool. In the same you can see Lord taking out some enemies and he is played as we can see by Dave Franco Garmin, who is played by Dustin Therox. Cole who is played by Fred Armisen then Nia taking out some warriors and we can actually see that some Shark Army warriors captured Garmanon so kind of proves my point of Garmanon turning to the good side and even further the Shark Army warriors turning to the bad side and kind of capturing Garmanon and even Nia trying to save Garmanon but anyways Nia is played as you can see by Abby Jacobson then we can see Misako who is played by Olivia Munn, I guess kind of paying the taxes or something. And then there's Jay, who's running away from a bunch of, or should I say flying away from a bunch of manta ray bombers, who is played by Camille Nanjiani, I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, sorry if that's not how it's pronounced. And then in the next scene, there's Kai and his fire mech, who is played by Michael Penna. And then Zane and his ice tank kind of getting fixed up, oiled and everything, who was played by Zach Woods. And finally, Master Wu kind of starting a pose, who's played by Jackie Chan. And then we see Lloyd, who looks like he's even master building some helicopter or something. And he's saying that he hasn't felt something like that in such a long time. Because when a shark army general pushes him off, whatever he's standing on, I really like how they have master building just like in the Lego movie and Lego Batman movie. And then Garmin comes up to Lloyd and asks Lloyd, are you alright? And Lloyd just turns over to his, show Garmin on his arm. And he's like, I think something happened to my arm. And Garmin just like, goes back because he's so surprised. And Lloyd says, I think it hurts. I really hope nothing happened to it. And he asks Garmin to rate it on a scale from 1 to 10. And since its arm is ripped off, as you can see, Garmin rates it a 7 point arm ripped off and we can see all the ninja with worried and kind of scared faces and even Jay crying behind Cole and Zane not trying not to take his eyes off of Lloyd's arm ripped off and then to finally end it we see the Legend Dragon Movie logo and it says in cinemas October 13th CN3D hashtag Legend and Dragon Movie and since I'm coming out October 13th I actually thought it was supposed to come out September 23rd but apparently it's been postponed to October 13th. And if you didn't know, it was actually supposed to come out in 2016, September 22nd, but it got postponed until what we used to think was the release date and now till October 13th. So I'm kind of sad about that. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And definitely tell me what you think about this in the comment section down below. Do you like it? And yeah, so I'm really excited that we got reveals to the now, but see you guys later on Lego Channel 62.